Do you remember Avilius at the peak of his racing career? And Avilius takes the lead and charges away in the round bit. But Avilius is way out in front and does the round bit. Take for double, but here comes the big A. It's Avilius going off for a big win. Well, this October long weekend, Avilius stepped from the racetrack and into the competition arena. Here at the Sydney International Equestrian Centre, the Equimillion competition run by Race in New South Wales. As a flag bearer of the Godolphin Lifetime Care Program, Avilius's role is to promote the thoroughbred breed and its versatility more generally. This weekend, he joined Drockard and Watchdog as they competed across the three-day competition here at the Sydney International Equestrian Centre. Let's check in with Cade and Olivia to see how they got on throughout the competition. Avilius and Watchdog competing all weekend. Uh, Watchdog uh, finished fifth in the eventing, 80 centimetres. It was his first time ever eventing, so really pleased and impressed with his result. And then we had Avilius here as well in the 80 centimetres, and it was his first time out at a big show like this, so you know he did get the heart rate up a little bit and the adrenaline, but uh, he jumped super and he'll learn a lot from that as well and uh, look forward to some bigger shows in the future. Having Avilius here was super all weekend. You know, he drawed quite a big crowd around the stable and a few people around racing enthusiasts noticed him, really sort of felt his presence here. Um, such a beautiful, magnificent horse and he had great ability on the track, but also now it uh, relates here to the show jumping scene. Olivia Hill and I'm standing here with Drockard, one of the horses from Godolphin Lifetime Care, and we're here at Equi Equimillions 2023 competing in the show jumping. Well, I've had Drockard for four years, but I worked with him at Godolphin um, when he was first imported here from overseas, and I just fell in love with his quirky nature. Um, he's not a horse for everyone, but he's definitely the horse for me. So Drockard loves show jumping. The biggest thing with him is trying to get him to come back and settle a little bit, but he just loves it so much that sometimes he goes a little fast over them, but he tries his heart out. <laughs> Something that I've really found throughout the week is that none of these horses were performance bred for this. They were all performance bred for racing. So you kind of feel on an even playing field. Sometimes you're going up against warm bloods and stuff and the thoroughbreds definitely hold their own, but it's really exciting to have a show that's really just fully focused and pointed towards them. Thank you.